Hi guys, it's Sherry. So today we're going to be learning how to make this pendant. It has three halolite gems. You could use any gem that you have around or would like. And then we have a pendant that I actually put into my pendant. And I'm going to show you that as well. So let's get started on this piece. All right, guys, so to start out, I rolled out my white Primo clay to my fourth um, thickest setting on my pasta machine. And I have this piece that I got off of Amazon. And then I have my halolite stones. So I have two of the teardrop shapes and one of the circle shapes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I just drew out some shapes to start out. So I kind of want this section covered and then I want a triangle at the top. So I kind of just, you know, um, did a real quick design and I'll clean it up as we go along. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of lay it down and then I'm going to take any tool that I have and just kind of push down just to mark up my clay okay this way I kind of know what exactly I'm going to cut out okay so that's a good start there and then I just want to make sure okay I wonder if I could cut this off we're gonna attempt this and see if we could cut this off or bend it off yes okay All right, that looks like it will work. So, I'm gonna get my tile. Put that there for right now. And then I'm gonna cut out another one of these. Nothing has to be perfect because we're going to be um, adding and taking away stuff as well. All right, so this I want to go right in the center. Okay, that gives me a good starting point. Now I'm just going to kind of build up over my piece here and I want this part to be flat. I don't want the triangle part to be sticking up. Oops, let me get that out of the way. And kind of get an idea where you want your stone. Mine will be right at the top there. And I'm just going to trim up the inside just a tad bit. And then later on, I'm going to lift it up and trim some more.
Okay. And let's try the top here. So we can get an idea. Like I said, nothing has to be perfect right now. We're going to clean this all up then. This stone, I like to be about right there. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to start cleaning up the back before we get into more of the details. So I want to cut off this excess. And I'm going to try to smooth this out the best that I can. I want to make sure my pieces are completely sealed on the sides so nothing could come loose later on. Okay. I'm going to build up a little bit more there. But the back looks pretty good. Now we're going to clean this up. I'm going to push that down a little bit. Okay. So I like the way my back looks. Now I'm going to get a little bit of extra clay. And I'm going to start building up the top here. As you're building up, just make sure you're smoothing around your stone and your edges here. We want everything to be blended nicely so the clay becomes one solid piece. Okay. Now we're going to go on to the other side. I'm just going to push the clay down a little bit so it's not over the stone at all. So I want to make room for my noodles that are going to go in here. Okay. I'm just going to clean my edges up around here. Make sure everything's nice and smooth.
So I'm happy with the bottom for now. Now we're going to move to the top. Okay, so once you start putting your filler there, and you start smoothing this section out as well, and we want to make these clays into one piece. I'm pushing the clay down once again. So the stone shows more because we don't want the stone completely covered. Clean up my edges here. Make sure everything's even. Alright, before I clean up the edges, I want to add my next stone. So kind of figure out where I want that. Do I want it at the top? And that could be the bottom. No. Or do I want it at the bottom? Or maybe at the top. Oh, yeah, that's how I'll do it. Okay. So, I'll clean this area up quickly. And I actually want to Take this section off for a minute. Well, not for a minute, take this section off. And then I'm going to Yep, okay. I'm gonna get my ball tool and I'm going to push this down and open this up. Try to get it nice and wide. I'm going to place my stone in there. And then we're going to press that up so it goes on an angle. Okay, so here I'm just cleaning up my stone. So I still have areas to put, or a area that will have my noodle going cleanly. Because we definitely want as much of our stone to show as possible. So all you have to do is push back on that clay. There we go. Okay, and we just got to make sure it's still even. Okay, so once you're completely happy with the beginning stages of your filling uh, or your building up of your clay and placing your stones in, then we can move on to. So our next step is to make our noodles. So get your clay, roll it out. And 
I'm going to make this one nice and skinny. There we go. And I'm going to start at the bottom here. Oops. We're going to go around the stone, but kind of go in. And see down here, I want to kind of go all the way behind. There we go. Back there. Carefully press it on. Make sure it's nice and smooth looking. And just carefully patting down the back, making it a little bit flatter so it blends nicer. Okay. Make your edge a point. And I'm going to go, hold on. Right over there. And just blend that nicely. Press it down lightly. All right, so I'm making a little ball and then I'm squeezing it and flattening it to make a little leaf. So then it's going to end up like a teardrop. Then I'm going to get my little tool and I'm going to make little leaf patterns. I'm going to put that right in the middle, very carefully. And to make sure that it stays put, we're going to once again do the impression. I'm going to do one more. So I got a little ball. I mush it. Squeeze, mush, squeeze. That's a little big for my, I want something a little bit smaller. And you could even place this on here first. So I'm going to do this one up here like that. Let me do my second one. On that side, and then you can make your impressions. So 
and I'm just gonna put a little tiny nope that's a little big let's get it a little smaller make a little circle and we're gonna put it right there at the bottom and this one I actually want to redo because I want to make it a little bit smaller to match the other one so just take that up I'm going to place that right okay now I'm going to take my snake again I'm going to wrap it around here I'm going to edge it off make sure you're going into the back all the way to the bottom and then once again carefully press it on okay do the same thing Make sure you leave room for the back. Okay. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take it from the bottom. I like okay I just kind of play around with this until I find something that I like and then I just go with the flow <laughs> so make your piece to your liking and what you really desire your piece to be you may want more swirls or more um, leaves in yours when I'm making my piece I never know exactly what I'm gonna do I just kind of do it as or just as I'm going I just kind of make it up <laughs> All right, that should be long enough. So now I'm going to take it this side. Okay, we'll get right there. Stay. And I'm going to make that a little skinnier. Carefully cut the back. There we go. I'm going to make sure I secure the back here. Okay. I'm going to do a couple tiny leaves over here. Yeah, I'm going to do one up here.
Okay. Let's get that little guy up there that way. And I'm just going to blend those two together. Okay. And then I'm just going to put a little dot at the bottom there. All right, I'm pretty happy with that so far. All right. <clears throat> so let's get started on the top piece now. We're going to do the um, very, very top of the circle. We're going to make another snake. I don't like the way that one, that's too messy. I want it to be nicer. Okay, I'm going to cut the one edge and then I'm going to join those together. I'm just blending these so they become one noodle. Remember to lightly tap. You don't want to mush it. Okay. Now we're going to do the oval part. Okay. Now, carefully Now I'm going to do the edge in here. Just remember, you always want to leave room for the bottom here. Like leave enough clay there so you can finish off the bottom as well. And we're going to wrap this around. And then carefully cut that. And carefully cut that. Make sure everything's pressed up nicely so it's secure. And look at the other side. Okay, now we get to decorate the top part. First, we got to get our jump rings because we're going to put them on the side here. So let me grab my jump rings. Okay, so I got my two jump rings there. 
these are going to be much nicer looking there. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is on the side here, we're going to put two little marks. So we're going to put one over here and then one here. So make sure you're getting them as close as possible as being even. Get your jump ring. The opening part is going to go inside the clay. So you're just going to push that in. Make sure everything's even. That one's up a little bit higher. I want that down. Okay. Now you see how there's like little openings there? So we're going to take a little bit of clay and we're going to fill those holes with the clay. So start out with a little bit because you could add more, but taking it away is just so much more difficult. So stick it in there. Hold this part so you're not messing up the work that you did. And just fill it in there. Okay, nice and smooth. We could clean up the back in a minute. Let's just worry about the hole right now. Okay. Same thing on this side. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Since I have this already out, I'm going to carefully mark my piece here. before I decorate the top. Okay. Let's make sure everything is still good. There we go. Now put it back down. Okay. So let's get this out of the way. Now time to decorate the top part. I'm going to turn it around. Make some more noodles. All right. So take the tiny one. And this time, how do I want to do this one? Hmm. Let me see, how do I want to do this? Maybe get something from here. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm going to go from the top here and then I'm going to twist it down. I like the way that looks. So I'm going to do another one like that. So both sides are matching. So give me my fingers. You want to come in. Okay. 
go out. Okay, I guess slender that little section out. That's a little too fat. I'm going to keep my noodle the same size as my other one. Sometimes I think making the noodles is the hardest thing. I usually like to use my tool, but for some reason I decided to do it the hard way today. Okay. So I'm going to connect that here, go in, come back out, get off my finger. <laughs> that off and then we're going to put this little section into a point okay and now we lift you up again Add an extra one here. Okay, so we want to curl it. And then lay that there. There we go. Let me see how this looks. Oops. Okay, put that there. And then curl right there. Okay, that I like. All right, so now we got to add a couple leaves because we got leaves down here. sure we like the way everything looks. Let's smooth this little section out of it. Okay, so my piece is done being decorated. I'm going to put this in the oven at 275 because I have Primo clay for a full hour and then when it's done cooling off I will come back and we will finish this piece completely. See you then, guys. Okay, guys, so now my piece is out of the oven. It's completely cooled off. Um, you can see that I actually added a few little um, extra pieces of clay. I decided to put a little bit more detail into it, so I did these little dots here. And what we're going to do next is paint. So I decided to use this gunmetal silver and then a matte black for this particular piece you don't need a lot of paint which is nice so you don't have to be overly you know clean with this you could be a little bit more messy because we could clean up the stone afterwards Make sure you get inside where you don't think people are going to see, but 
If you examine it, you're going to see it, so always paint it. This particular paint dries fairly quick, which is why I absolutely love it and use it all the time. Um, I'm actually a pretty impatient person when it comes to waiting for paint to dry, so I want to I want it to go as quick as possible. Okay, so let's do the top now. I am a little bit more careful when it comes to the sides because I don't want to have to go through the aggravation of cleaning up too much of the metal here. The stones are very easy to clean up, but the metal, I have the feeling that it's going to be a little bit more of a headache, so I'm going to avoid getting paint on that if possible. Okay, so we're going to give this a few minutes to completely dry, and then we will move on to the black. Alright guys, so now my piece is dried. Now we're going to start our black. So the first thing we're going to do is get our brush wet a little bit. And we just want to go over this with the black paint. And you see how watery I left it. Just get it nice and covered. Okay. And then take an old towel and just wipe it off. And this is going to shade our piece. And you're going to keep doing this until the shading is to your liking. So sometimes like on the side here, I want more paint than the water. And I'm just going to let that on there for a tad bit. I'm going to go right onto the back. You can pat it if you want more of that look. Now I'm going to do the top part. Okay. Once again, just wipe it off. And you just keep going over and over until you have it exactly to your like um liking. Whatever you desire. That's what you want so keep doing that and then when you're done we're going to take a little bit of silver and highlight some areas a little bit more black here you could even take one of these brushes and just slightly get like kind of tap it just so you just get in areas that you want more so I want a little bit more in the edges here and then you can rub it in okay now I'm going to take a tiny brush and I'm going to get my silver and then I'm just going to go over the top of the areas that I want to completely highlight that I really want the silver not shaded and take your time with this because I feel like this is really what makes your piece stand out.
Okay, make sure everything is the way you like it. And our next step is going to be to clean up the stone. So I like to take like a little pick or this kind of edge in and just lightly you know, go over the stone. I prefer the pick area because I could get really close to the edge without messing up my paint. Because some of my clay is actually on the stone with that leaf and I don't want to destroy the leaf. So I'm just going to very closely but carefully get to that leaf and clean around there. You don't have to get it all off with this, just some of it because we're going to use a little towel then to rub off the rest of it. Okay, so next thing you're going to do is get a Q-tip, get it a little wet, bring it out, and then we're just going to carefully clean our stone. I'm just getting most of my paint off right now. Next, we're gonna get our gloss glaze. And put a nice light coat over it. Get in all those little crevices to make sure that you're protecting your paint that you have there. All right, so coat your piece completely front and back and then let that completely dry. And when that dries, we will come back and we will add our chain to our piece. All right, so now my piece is completely dry and I have two chains here. I cut them to eight inches long because I want this to be closer to the neck. And then I have my jump rings. So I have four of those and then my lobster claw clasp. So get your pliers. And you're going to just open them up like that. Connect one part here. We're going to put the lobster claw clasp on there and then take it and close it. You want to make sure it's completely closed so your piece cannot, so your chain, nothing can fall off of it. Okay. And get your next one. Do the same thing and get the other chain and we're just going to close this one. Okay, that looks good. Get the opposite side. And then we're going to take it and Hook it onto there and then make sure you securely close it. Is it closed? There we go. And the last one. Okay. All 
And there you go, guys. There is a beautiful necklace. I hope you like this video. And if you do, please like and subscribe and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.